Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Magic Duels. My name is Raven from the Sky, thank you for your support on the first episode. Keep showing that love, and I'll keep cranking these out for you guys. Now with that being said, let's do all of knowledge. Okay, we already got a field. Alright, there are two challenges to overcome if you hope to proceed. To overcome the first, defeat the Sphinx this turn. Okay. I had to do something similar to this in the Origins campaign. Okay, we have to do them defeat him this turn. Magma spray deals two damage. Um can't be blocked this turn. Both creatures gain. Whenever this creature deals damage to a player draw a card. But he would just block with these fortress cards if I destroyed this. So it seems like it don't matter which. Destroy that. Uh, what does this do? Untap. Uh, gotta figure this out. X target. Oh, really? Well, all I gotta do, they can't be blocked. Let's shoot. And you just attack. Unless, what's the effect? It can't be blocked, so it's like... Unless he has a hand trap. Yeah, that's it. It can't be blocked. How is he blocking? I just put... What the heck? Hold on. Yeah, whatever. Let's do that again. It just, it says X target creatures can't be blocked this turn until the, until end of turn, those creatures gain whenever this creature deals damage to a player, draw a card. How did he block them? Uh... Oh, this is an instant, so we got to use it. Let's do this again. Let's untap, not tap. Hey, that's so st fail. Okay. Um so to take off these counters, when it's target of a spell ability the first time, so what we're gonna do is we are going to use it here. And then we use this here. I figured it out. Boom. And now, guess what? They can't be blocked. <coughs> Simple as it's not simple. I, I, you know, it's funny how it's right in front of your face, guys. All right. The 
final challenge of this trial. And what would that be? Uh, just a full-fledged duel then? It's probably a full-fledged... No, it isn't. It's another puzzle. To overcome this challenge, defeat Kefnet. Physical combat is useless here. You must find another way. Um... Target player puts the top X cards in his or her library. <laughs> oh, watch. It's okay. Round it down. Okay, he's down to 15. Okay, but see that's gonna use up the X. That still wouldn't do it. He'd take me out. I think we. Let me see. Yeah, he still have five left, and I still wouldn't be able to use that instant. I wonder if, if I could use it on me. What would it do? So he's down to seven. He he still have an extra turn left. You know what I mean? Let me see if I what happens. Maybe something activates in the graveyard. See, here we go. Okay, library. Target player. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, I messed up. I think we're supposed to use that, then, okay. I think I got it. Like I said, I'm, I'm rusty here, guys. <coughs> but hold on. Boop. Twenty six. Ah, uh, okay. Thirty one. Oh, got it. And then we use... No! No! <laughs> I know how to do it, though. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. I know how to do it. Here it is. Okay, we use this on ourselves. We have to use it on us. Wow, they had the illusion. Making you think you need to use it on him. All right, we draw this. So the thing is... is to reshuffle it. We use this card on him and then it'll make him discard his whole deck because all the cards we have in the graveyard. I didn't, why didn't that dawn on me earlier? It's perfect. So here we go, 30, then we use this. Boom. Why didn't that dawn on me first? If only you guys knew the amount of tries it took <laughs> to figure that out. Because you think you need to use it to make him discard half his deck. It's not. It's, it's, you're supposed to use it on you. That's pretty clever, actually. If you've done this in real life, you find yourself in this situation in real life in a real duel, and you did this, you deserve the utmost respect. Round of applause, because it... I would have lost. It literally took almost an hour for me to figure this out not just this the, the two puzzles together but yeah you managed to compose your thoughts and outwit the labyrinth as you pass through the final door where you suddenly find yourself before kefnet 
He does not look up to you, look up as you enter. He anticipated your arrival long ago. He offers you his reward. The cartouche of knowledge. Now that you have proven your mental fortitude, the trial of strength can begin. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to stop it here. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Magic the Gathering. Or Magic Duels, rather. If you like this episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to see series grow. My name is Raven from the Sky. Take care, have a nice day, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.